Good morning, guys. Hey, sorry for all the backdrop stuff, but I just wanted to get on a quick video um, this morning. Be of good courage. Are you being encouraged or discouraged? Okay, that's, these are the scriptures. That one's out of Deuteronomy 31, 6. But then this morning in prayer, early this morning, I was right there, that, that chair. That's where I pray, one of my main places. And one day I'll share the whole message with you about that. But Isaiah 9, 16, or 6 to 16, and Isaiah 19, 6 through 16. When you read Isaiah 19, 6 through 16, at first it might seem like it's discouraging a little bit. But then when you read Isaiah 9, 6 through 16, the government rests upon his shoulders, guys, not upon our administration and stuff. You know, they're, they're discouraging us, guys. The world is discouraging us. The church is discouraging us, the so-called church. You need to take this sign down, guys, and it's gonna be part of my message. Because they're not churches. They're just phony baloney music festival money making businesses. A lot of them. I'm sorry. This this is where I'm coming from. The word of God. There's a really good post about Ukraine and how a lot of the spiritual leaders, whether they are or aren't, you know, that's for you to decide. But they're flocking to get Bibles. And they're running out. Okay, listen to my point here. It's time we turn from our wicked ways and lose the pride as a nation because guys, our leadership is leading us into captivity. Is it gonna take a war in our land, whether it's civil war or another country taking over because there's plenty of them that want our resources, that's all they want, to enslave the population and take our resources. That's what they're doing over in Ukraine, or trying to. Is it gonna take that for us? And I can, I can listen to this. This is very important, okay? My wife and I were ministering at a homeless shelter in downtown Dallas for over three years, every single Sunday night. We missed a couple of them when we had to go on some missionary trips, but very few. I never asked for an offering. One of my messages told them one day, I said, and they all laughed. I said, guys, I'm not here for the offering. I'd get two bucks and some pocket lint. But we were at a large church. It's a positive church. I'm not even going to call it church anymore, honestly. Um, and I went to one of the pastors. There were several of them. And I thought, you know, I had a little bit of a connectivity there through the spirit and plus, you know, they'd even been over to their house for dinner. And I said, I told them, I said, you know, we need some Bibles for the homeless. We're giving away Bibles and toiletries, but I don't want to be another soup kitchen. I don't want to give the word of God. If I can't give the word of God and preach the gospel and give some people something that's got some substance and they're going to be able to stand on, all that's noble and a good cause is doesn't do anything, guys. If the meal lasts one day, a belly or whatever, you know, in your belly, it's done, gone. It's good and it's necessary to sustain you. I get that. But it's not going to sustain you. One of my friends, I, uh, let me stick with the Bibles first and then I'm going to tell you about one of my friends. But so I asked him, I said, you know, I just need Bibles. Well, every, where I went in the church, there was stacks of them, seemingly. You know what I was told? 10 minute needs to be a 501C, come back in six months. 
basically. Looked at him and said, no. Man, we just need Bibles to give away to the homeless. My wife later asked me, I told her the story. She said, what'd you do? And I said, I went away in tears. Cried and wept. Cut their heart. Now they're closing down the, the prayer room because of the CDC guidelines, because a bunch of judges and the mayor and everybody in Dallas is just relentless on this control issue. They're leading us astray, guys. The government and people that are calling, claiming to be a church and they're not. I think mean, we're close to the body of Christ, I'm sorry to say. Take your sign down, guys. I know that's a little blunt. I get it. I get this stuff birthed in prayer, guys. Right now, I can say this with full authority because I was in a helps ministry. Well, I could say ministry is to minister. We need to take look at the look at the word ministry, guys. At the end of it's try. We need to take the try out of it. Quit trying. It's to minister. The good news of the gospel. Look at some of my different posts. They're all doing it. They're all trying to control it. Every media, social media. Look at the one about repent in full circle. And you'll see on there, they're all doing it right now. It's it's wizards that peep and mutter. They are trying to control the chaos for their betterment. So dig into prayer and your word, guys. It should be God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His word. If you're not praying about it, I'm probably, I'm, you know, I'm probably not going to be listening to you. There's several different people that I post, and you probably wonder why they kind of seem to run the gamut. Sort of. One guy, I don't think he's going to mind this plug. A friend of mine, I've known him for 25 years, friend of the family, me and my wife, David J. Akron. Very intelligent guy. Guys. And he's very thorough when he studies the Bible. He doesn't just study it, he's very, very thorough. His messages are very deep. This morning was one on about Moses being mad at God, how he didn't enter in. And I it's in my first book, I told people that good solid Christians, and they said, Oh, you know, he wasn't mad. Yes, he was. The first book is called Visions and Writings of Promise, Hope, and a Future for America. The second book I got out is called Jesus Christ in you, the hope of glory. And it was actually banned by one of the major media. I got this nasty letter from Amazon after it banned out two years and told me I was plagiarizing and couldn't, you know, they pulled the book. I had to rewrite it. It's back on Amazon now. Nine bucks. I'm not doing it as a plug because it's full of scriptures. Packed full of scriptures leading you to the Bible, the best book out there. It's not about me, the book. But that's why they caught, nailed me for plagiarism. And, and, and you know, uh, it wasn't intentional, but I did a lot of copying and pasting. Well, I used the New King James Version, which was a big mistake. Knew better, but I thought, well, people can probably understand it maybe a little bit better. Well, I didn't pray enough about it. It needed to be in the King James Version. But the new King James Version, it's copyrighted. How can you copyright the Bible, guys? It's a scam. Another part of the deceptiveness of the, of the enemy to discourage us, to dissuade us, to deceive us. It's demonic. All this new new media stuff, every all this technology, all this stuff is to discourage us. Get the Bible, guys. Get back to the Word of God. Get back to prayer. Get back to seeking Him. You better start praying because I don't know how much time we have left. It may be this, before this message is over. It's short, shorter than I was hearing in 1980 about the end of the world was at our doorstep. 
It's shorter, a lot shorter. We're heading, we're not heading. We didn't fall off the cliff. We, we fell off the cliff, guys. We're in free fall. We're gonna hit hard as a nation, as America. Gotta get rid of this pride. Get on our knees, the neology and the word of God. And that's the only thing that's gonna stand. Is it gonna take a war or a food shortage, pandemic? I will end with this. One of, one of the biggest retailers out there, there's two of them, and I got this in prayer. I was sitting in prayer and the Lord said they're gonna close down. One was because of a scandal. The other one was because of their stance on the, on the, on the, on the gay rights issues. You can, you can kind of read between the lines. I'm a little careful of what I say because you use the wrong words and they, they, they nail you with all their algorithms, the technology. So I'm not going to say the names for one, because I don't want to get, you know, all the garbage of the lawsuit stuff. But so I, I knew the one reason why, because of their stance on the gay right issue. They're promoting it into their children and with some of their their stuff was promoting that. The other one, and so I prayed about it the next day, and I was like, so I just kind of put that in, you know, in the back, not in the back of my mind, but I was like just praying about it, thinking about it, and I said, well, Lord, what was the scandal? Price gouging, price fixing. And I go to the shop there, I shop there as little as possible because I can see the demonic activity at the top coming down. Not at the store level. Well, yes, it's full of it, but they're, the way they're treating their employees and their people. Greed. They're already going a different direction. But shelves are third empty, half empty. Prices, you know, everybody's like, oh, it's gone up six, eight, ten. But man, some of them are hundred percent. You know what I'm talking about? Many, many, many items. It's to discourage you, to control us, to take your food, your water, your supplies, your resources. That's why my friend David Jackman, at the last of this, after Moses was mad, he that thirsts, hungers, and thirsts after righteousness shall be filled. It's the word of God that's gonna help us to stand, guys. It's prayer that you're gonna get the direction in, guys. Talking, communicating with him. I'll end with this. Get up with me at five in the morning. Mine's, mine, now mine are two to five. It used to be five. This morning it was 2.13 or 2.11. I'm like, man, Lord, I'm really tired, kind of, and I got a busy day, and you know, I don't really wanna start yeah, I want to start the day with prayer, but I don't want to start the day and then be tired all day and can't get seem to get anything done because I'm going to be exhausted. And then I thought about it. I thought, well, I went to bed at 8. 8 to 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. I've got six hours. Okay, Lord, that would be, be plenty. So I stayed up, made coffee. Love you guys. But if it's... Uh, I will end with this, okay? I've, the reason why sometimes I may seem a little bit scattered is because of some of the storms that I've been through recently. Would have killed 10 men, honestly. I'm not making that up. But one of them was, I was in God's will, but I was in his way, doing it my way, because of pride. And I was helping people, the homeless and the poor. And I had two different people that I was connected with. Or so I thought, because I thought God sent them just because they showed up kind of, you know, there they were in my path. They pretty much raided the village, guys. It was like the Vikings. They, 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 I had resources. They, took whatever they wanted, wiped it out. And I was mad and I was even questioning God. And 
I said, God, I'm trying to help people. And all they're doing is taking. One of them was needy and one of them was greedy. The needy one, I kind of get, sort of, very messy. But I overhelped him. And then he helped himself to whatever he wanted. And I was blind because of the pride, because as long as I could do it what I thought was my way. Now I'm redoing it, and I've had to hold up and just get off and pray, and really pray. It's been a couple months through the storm. But I had to, right now I'm at the point where it's, I gotta do like David did at Zick, Zicklag. I was in the, I was in the Lord's, I was doing the Lord's will, but I wasn't because I was in the way, because I was doing it my way, because of pride, and I lost the battle. David lost the battle, his wife, so everything was taken. He had to gird himself back up, get back up and go back to battle and take it back. That's where I'm at. So be of good courage. Got that in a prayer a year ago. From, and I thought it was for my wife, but it's really for me too. You want to find me? Two to five in the morning, I'll be in that in my prayer chair because I'm old and I kind of need to sit a little bit. You know, I just got physical. But I'm back to one of the other storms though was, and I'm just going to say this, guys, okay? But almost three years ago, I had some many brain strokes and I couldn't even walk. My balance was gone. Look up my post, my video. Through it all, I learned to trust in Jesus. Guys, I'd be walking and falling. Like my legs got cut off, no balance. So three MRIs later, I still got them. According to the doctors, parts of my brain died and the balance was one of them. So according to the doctors, I should be in a nursing home or an invalid somewhere. I'm not. But I just recently had some more and that was part of the pride, but I didn't realize that I had it. It wasn't so much the pride, but it was just the physical. I mean, the bodies wear out. And Elvis has left the building, guys. I got one brain cell, maybe two going right now. So if I seem a little scattered, I'm working on it. So what I'm doing is, what he showed me to help people, I'm now using my computer a lot. Because I'm like, well, it's a muscle. I'm going to just tax it and I don't like the computers and so I've really been pushing a lot of stuff through there and it's helped. I can see that. But so I love you guys. Um he just he wants us to be encouraged guys of good courage, not discouraged. So does it take something bad it's it catastrophic to happen? Why do you think all this garbage happened with the disease? It was like, one, who would have known this two, three years ago? It's like the light switch flipped off. Who would have known we'd be, and we man, a stupid mask even, not even a good one. When I was a kid, my granddad had, had, had really bad hay fever. When he cut the grass, he had to wear a mask. It was a 3M mask that fit real well. Most of the one, those cheap ones, and you go into some of these stores and you don't have one, they give you a, what's it gonna stop? Nothing. Look at it. It's not even, it's like wearing a half of a diaper, you know? <laughs> Guys, come on. It's all to discourage us to, to just cow and bow down to the cares and riches of this world. And God wants to get be of good courage. You're not going to get it if you're not praying because you're not going to get any direction. You're going to get, you're going to listen to all the garbage that's out there, TikTok and everything else. Trash. Demonic. He wants to talk to his people in the cool of the day. Mine's two to five, so I'll see you at five in the morning. I'll look for you from my prayer chair. Love you guys. Be of good courage. Not discouraged and dismayed. 
And I, I'm not down, downplaying the, the mess that's going on in Ukraine because people are losing their lives over it, guys. Literally dying as we speak. Not good at all. So is it going to take a calamity to our nation to get us to our knees, to get us to pray, to get us to find that Bible? That's where all this is leading to, guys. It's time to turn from our wicked ways. Look at the repent full circle one. God, I love you, but I got to say what I got to say. That's just to play. These storms that I've been through weren't, were to strip me of my pride for one, but two, was so that I knew that I could take authority that because guys I, I just haven't gone to the doctor I know what they'll tell me you know that I'm brain dead probably literally honestly I'm not making that up okay guys I'll, I'll end with this okay lived in the same area of Dallas for about Dallas North Dallas suburbs of it too for over 30 years and I was at an intersection I was going somewhere I was only four or five blocks away from there and I couldn't even think to get there. I was just, do I stop? Do I turn around? The light change? What do I do? I was lost in a goose and hind grass. Couldn't even think, remember where I was. It, I, you know, I called one doctor a while back and I had the card in front of me and it took me five tries. I dialed the wrong area code. I dialed the wrong number. Oh, that's a three instead of an eight. I dialed the fax number. It's way, you know, pretty challenging. But back to that same thing, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. Because my, cause my, cur my courage, my courage, my encouragement doesn't come from me. It comes from above. And yes, it took some calamities and a bunch of storms for me, to, but I had to get rid of the pride in my life. Now, a long story, and one day I'll share it with you too, some of it. But anyhow, we love you guys. Be of good courage. Read it. The government rests upon its shoulders. Not upon our current administration or previous ones or ones that we think we should elect. And I'm not saying we shouldn't pray for these people. We shouldn't get the right people in the government. Yes, we should. That's how we're, 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 why we're at where we're at. But we also need to pray about our supposed leadership in the churches. A lot of them. It's phony baloney and it's discouragement. When it needs to be encouragement. We need to be of good courage. You're not going to get this direction, guys. Or me or anybody else because he wants it to, you need to get it from him to be your source I'm just a mailman guys maybe a little loose like Larry the Cable Guy kind of sort of because that's who he asked me to be but you know and other people are a little bit more you know really 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 deep and precise and I'm I'm really deep and precise too because of the prayer but I'm just going to get it out there Love you guys. Uh, talk to you soon. If you really like this, what I'm saying, then share it with people, okay? And let's, you know, start this process. But the biggest one is in prayer, supplication, and dedication. Because he wants to talk to you, all of us. Not like the world. They want to cut you off, confuse you, and, you know, they know more than you. That's how long of the... You know, like I said, it's, it, 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 they call them churches. They've just been, they become a business, a racket, a scam to get your resources, whether it's your time or your money. Pick one. Time away from God. Most of them need to go off and pray themselves instead of closing down because the government says to. Love you guys.